The latest addition to Unreal Engine Marketplace in the Permanently Free Collection is an amazing project called Archphase Explorer and today we're going to explore that. Check out the link in the description for the download page. To get the project, sign in with your Epic Games account and add this product to your library. Then open Epic Games Launcher, go to Library and you will find it here as the first option thanks to these quotation marks. I love this actually, it's smart. What you need to know about this page, other than you can download the project, there is very important documentation you can read and learn more about the project. It has some very nice videos and tutorials on how to use the project. There is also the realistic expansion. If you want to download the realistic expansion, click on the link here. And in my case, I got 1.9 for Unreal Engine 426. I saved it where I created my project and I simply right click here, extract. It's going to add a new map with some new assets. If you want to open the project in Unreal Engine 5, all you need to do is to right click the Unreal Engine project, then go to switch Unreal Engine version, choose Unreal Engine 5. Let's open the project. This is what we see for the first time. Nice lovely building with some transparent stuff on it and a nice environment. This is what the project looks like in Unreal Engine 5 with Lumen and Virtual Shadow Maps enabled. I'm gonna resize the size of my screen for performance. I'm running the project on GTX 1080 Ti and it's running really well when I'm not recording. Let me show you how the project look with and without Lumen. If you go to edit project settings in the engine tab, scroll all the way down to rendering, then scroll to global illumination. What you need to do is to switch this from none to Lumen. It will enable everything else for you. I increased the reflection capture resolution. I think that was a bad idea, especially for this video. So I'm gonna decrease that. This is the default value, I believe. The only thing that you need to do manually other than enabling Lumen in the global illumination is to go to shadows and switch this from shadow maps to virtual shadow maps. Let us view shadow maps and let us turn off Lumen. <laughs> Massive difference. Let me get hydrated first. I'd remind you to subscribe if you're not already. Let's enable Lumen again. That's lighting. Lumen GI, amazing, without, and with, it just feels so much natural. And the shadow maps, look at this. <laughs> wow. I'm kinda curious how we can control the lighting here, because there is no sun and there is no directional light. I think it's a special blueprint. I'm gonna try and find it. To control the sun of our project here, we need to go to environment lighting. We have blueprint environment. This is a special blueprint with some very simple commands that will disable the atmospheric fog and the sky sphere. When we click play, this is a problem I noticed in Unreal Engine 5. We have these floating boxes and what you get, this is my message for testing purposes. If you like chicken nuggets, leave a comment. You would orbit around if you left click and right click you would pan around. Scroll to zoom in and out. We have a compass. All of this is touch compatible. If you have a touch screen, this is a great project. You have a gallery of pictures. You can attach pictures or videos. The next thing we have, surroundings. I love this. We can see highways we can set. There is a blueprint to create these. They're very easy. And you have cut spots around the area of your project. Dining, shopping, entertainment. You can rename these to whatever you like. You can add as many as you like. All blueprints are easy to use in this project and the documentation will help you as well. This is one of my favorite features, unit search. So if we click here, we will go back to our building and we will be represented with three colors highlighting our apartments available 
uh, reserved and sold for the red. So let's say you want to show only the sold apartments in this project, we can disable available and reserve. And these apartments based on the criteria here are sold. Let's see if we want to see the sold apartments that are larger from 85 square meters seems that there are only two very cool all of this set up out of the box let's see reserved or only the available so i only want apartments that are bigger from 64 square meters slightly lower budget and maybe one bedroom you may have noticed when we click play the sky disappeared and the fog as well. If we open the blueprint environment here and we set new hidden, I am gonna leave this for now, see what will happen. Compile. We need to set this as well. Cool. So that's how you enable the sky if you like from this blueprint. We have another blueprint. I'm going to delete this and click play here. The blueprint here have time of the day, slider, out of the box, ready for you. You can change the time of the day. This is so beautiful. These are the only annoying boxes. <laughs> wow. In the realistic expansion, there is a night mode. Let me show you that. So I'm going to maps. I'm going to click on the map realistic, I'm not gonna save anything. If you don't have the realistic expansion, make sure you go to the product page and here in the description, realistic expansion, download the version you want. You will get this new map, hope the performance is not that bad. This new map, if we press play, let's set it on night, I'm not sure if 6am is night but You can download this today or next year for free. It's always available in the permanently free collections tab. That's amazing. If you would like to create such large environment, trick here. The main texture of the landscape is a satellite image of resolution of 8K. You will find that image if you open the, the main landscape material, then go here to texture sample. This is as an image applied with these parameters on our landscape actor. Let's open our small map. This is easier to work with. So I'm going back to blueprints and the other two blueprints I'm going to show you is the road tool. You need to make sure that you press G and zoom to the object a little bit. You will see a spline mesh actor here. If you click and drag, if you build light poles, The other one is the route. This route we see when we go to surroundings view. I'm going to make a route here. So if we hit play, we don't see the road. In order to add the route we have created to the game, we need to add tags for example if we click on our existing routes route 1 or route 2 and in the search details we search for tags we can see the index 0 and index 1 it has these two tags so i'm going to copy these two tags transportation and surroundings i'm going to press play i'm gonna press on surroundings nice now we can see our route Let's see how we can add these points of interest. I'm going to our content browser and here we need to select blueprint POI point of interest. I'm going to get this, put it here. I'm going to see if I can steal any tags from any other points of interest. Let's say the street names. I'm gonna click here surroundings, copy this tag, select our point of interest. Enter the tag, transform pretty self-explanatory. The default settings, POI type, 
we should name our point of interest here then. Let's call it A. Information. Let's keep it info. Let's give it a color of purple. Put it, I don't know, let's say death metal. For the icons, I'm going to see if other point of interest have icons I can steal. Here are the icons, textures, user interface. We have all these. Very nice. Food, because I like food. Image, gonna take this, put it here. I'm going to zoom to our point of interest. We have the smash. That's enough messing around for now. Let's see if we can see that in any way. I think it used to be surroundings. There we go. It's supposed to be a restaurant with A. We added a 3D panoramic picture. We can go exit it. We wrote metal. We added some information and that's the title. Very nice. The only thing I want to know is how can I add this, for example, to education. Let's click escape and see if we can find that high school or something. We have the surroundings tab that is listing everything. So if we click on one of these, the name of this, fast food, bakery, store, barbecue, the elementary school, there we go. To control the scale of the box, click on the point of interest blueprint and go to the components tab, click on POI geometry, then you can just go to the scale tool and scale this to your liking. Regarding this blueprint in the settings here, if we search for tags, we have education and surroundings. So I'm going to copy the name education, select my blueprint and give it this tag. Now let's see if this will work. Yes. Okay, let's go to blueprints here then and take a look at these folders. I think the most important one you need to know about is widgets. Widgets here, search for master, you will find the master menu widget. It's called blueprint master menu widget. Double click that. Here you will find your master menu, basically everything we see. The welcome menu, details menu, everything we see on screen is organized here. I love this setup. Let's say you want to edit this. If you click on it, it will show it to you here in the hierarchy tab. You can right click and click on edit widget blueprint. Here you can write whatever you like. Hello, I hope you like banana. <laughs> Compile, save. If we press play. There we go. Here you have an image that you can change. Archface Explorer. Go to the details, then to appearance, brush. Just replace this image with whatever you like. That's regarding the widgets. The structs and enums are basically how we are listing everything. Whether like when we press play, there is the education, the street names. All these are found here and the data tables. If you've been wondering how it was showing me apartments that are bigger than 50 meters. Everything about this project is basically listed in this data table here. So you have the surface, the price, bedroom count, bathroom count, and so on. You can import Excel sheets or CSV files, all that stuff. There are some really good tutorials on Unreal Engine online learning, how to work with data tables in Unreal Engine. I highly recommend doing that. And if you want to see tutorial on that, also let me know. I hope you found this stuff useful. If you have any questions, anything I can help with, join us on Discord. Subscribe if you're not already, leave your boy a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!